All right, welcome back and thanks for joining me for another build day. So, we're going to start working on kind of the front bumper area while we wait for our appointment to get our tires mounted. And then we can see how different we have to modify the bumper style. But that will pretty much take place here in a little bit. So, before we get started, let's talk about my sponsor for today. My sponsor is my wallet. You have a problem, a project, I have to uh, figure out how to finance this thing. So all I have to do is check my wallet. And we're looking a little light. So we have to make sure this bill is cheap. So if you want to work on your bill, check your wallet. Anyways, let's just get started with this thing. So the first stop with our front section is we need to make that front initial hoop, which should be good enough with this six foot section again. But we need to come through and get at the 12 inch mark. Is that 12? Yeah, 12. 12 inch mark, get our clamp. Then we'll have the 12 inches there of the clamp, and then we'll have the additional six inches of straight pipe before the bend starts. So that'll give us 18 inches, and then we'll have the six inch radius Yep, and that should be the 24. So, guess that's just what we're going to do. Got her at the 12. We're going to tighten her down. So now that we got that section there, we need to add the little bit of the bend that I want to get it away from the hood a little bit. So I think let's try to figure out how, let's just start off by running it up to start with a 20 maybe. Well, this is the stock bumper section, and I figure what I'm going to do is take this bar that I just bent and 
I'm just going to kind of countersink this directly into this front section. Kind of hang it around like this. This will give us a little bit of a ramp bar and we'll already have all of our mounts made. And then probably once we get that all welded up and reinforced, I'll come through and cut out this whole center section because we got a bunch of stuff that needs to be up in that grill area. And we'll just need that room. So I'm going to take this on over to the bench and we'll get slicing and fitting. All right, so I got that bull bar extension section welded up. You can see we got a standoff piece that goes back to the bumper. Then we welded it to the bottom side of the bumper here. See what we did there. And then we notched these lower tubes quite a bit there. And that's basically so it can so it can brace itself on the radiator support. So, we're about to the point that we can shove this thing on and see how it looks as a whole. All right, so that is starting to look pretty decent. Kind of dark out, so it's getting close to shutting her down for the day, but essentially all that we'll have to do now is come over from this bar, bring it out here, and cut it alongside the uh, fender section, and probably grab another section from down there and run it straight up to that other, other one. So, I think we're looking pretty good. I ran out of tube from the leftover stock from doing the crossfire roll cage. So I had to go pick up a couple more tubes. These are slightly thinner at like a 90 wall versus the 120 wall that the other tube was, but should be good enough for what we're using. So I got another 20 feet. That was roughly 30 bucks. So. Not too bad, all things considered. So, we are working on the section that goes around the headlight. So I guess, maybe let's hit her in increments. Let's go hit 40, and then see what that looks like, and keep bumping, crawling up onto it. So 60 appears to be money. So we got her lined up there and it wraps around the headlight properly. So we'll be pretty good there. I'll just grab the other tube and throw the other bend in it and we will have that set. All right, so now that we got the top sections, I created the bottom section, just a 30 degree, actually that one's a 45, that one's a 27. And then I had to get these nice fancy baloney cuts going on to make it intersect with the bumper how I planned. So let's go take a look at it. I've already tacked one side in, so we can tack this other side in and then finish weld it and see what we have. All right, so there it is. You see we got this zapped in. Yeah. Pretty sturdy. But then we got this other one. It's gonna come down 
right below these other set of bolts. We're going to adopt the barely close enough is good enough. Oops. Need to have the grounder on. Right, a little something like that. Let's throw down a heavier burn here. Okay. Alright, we're definitely going to have to run a tube from that side to that side. So, that will be fun. But, I'm going to spend the time to start zapping in some of these things a little bit better while I have it off. And we'll be able to call it done for at least this portion. So I'll get rolling, we'll see what we have afterwards. All right, there we see pretty much the finished project, product there. We've got a little weirder on this side than it did on that side, but there's a lot of things that are in the way when you're dealing with these stupid cars, but that's not really gonna hurt much and no one's really gonna look at it. So. I think we're at a pretty good spot there. At some point in time, like I was saying before, we'll probably cut out this main section of the main bumper. So we've got a place to mount a winch of some sort. So they'll be planning, needing to go in for that, but until we get to that point, we're just gonna call this close enough to being done. I'll have to do some final trimming over on the fender sections. I left those tubes kind of long so I can dial them in how I want them. So, anyways, thanks for stopping by and watching. And hopefully, we'll see you again later.